coffee. It's my blood type. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Danny Rearranged YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm trying not to show you too much of this room. This is the Four Season. Uh, if you're new here, this is the Four Season. It's basically an extended porch that we can use all year long. I did decorate this room. I don't know why I'm covering this. I did decorate this room for Christmas. I filmed it. We're gonna add that into today's video. Um, but this is the only room that I've decorated so far. So I will show that uh, that uh, what I filmed uh, at the end of today's video will I'll show you me uh, decorating for Christmas in, in this room but in a future video I would say either the, the next video or the video after the next video within the next two videos for sure um, I'm gonna decorate the rest of the house for Christmas I'm gonna do a bunch of Christmas DIYs I'm still trying to plan out how I'm gonna do this I have my Christmas tablescape that I'm really excited to do it's basically free cannot wait to show you that super excited for that I love tablescapes I did in the last week and a half two weeks I, I have filmed a little bit on and off um, I did film undecorating all of the fall seasonal decor and packing all of that away except the dining room. The dining room was the only area that I still had fall Thanksgiving decor out for Thanksgiving. But um, the rest of the house, everything's been undecorated. But I don't know if I'm going to add that in today's video. It's I. I packed it all away except the dining room. But in today's video, I gotta take, I gotta pack away what's in the dining room. That's all that's left. So um, it has been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube. I haven't uploaded in a while. Everything's good, everything's fine. I just needed to take a little bit of an extended break. It has been, it has been, it's been busy. It's just, it has been nonstop, go, go, go. And I just, I just needed to take a, a little bit of an extended break. Um, and it, it was needed. It, it really was. So I'm back. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, sometimes, you know, every so often you just need those extended breaks to recoup. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, reset. Which, well, that's what we're doing in today's video. We're resetting. So I was actually going to work on the mud room. That will be either the next video or the video after. So basically, I'm gonna talk about, I'll talk about that in the voiceover. We'll get into that in the voiceover. The problem is, is I cannot work on the mud room until I get my house in order. My house is a disaster. This is the worst my house has looked in a very, very long time. For the most part, we keep the house pretty picked up. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're more minimal now. We don't have as much, we still have stuff. We're not extreme minimalists by any stretch of the imagination, but we have a lot less stuff, so it's a lot easier for us to maintain and keep the house picked up. However, of course, there are times where our, you know, my house blows up, but it's usually not often. However, with how everything's been going lately and how busy things have been, I just don't care. And I, I, I told the family, we're just, we're not doing anything. We're just gonna relax. We're relaxing. We're, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna relax. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna enjoy, uh, you know, just spending time off and, you know, spending much needed quality time with family and friends. We're not gonna worry about the house. And that's what we did. The problem is that, well, <laughs> we kind of let it go a little longer than we should have. <laughs> and what happens is, is that sometimes I get into the mode of not wanting to do it. So it kind of backfired on me a little bit. I let the house go for so long and now I don't want to do anything because I don't want to. <laughs> but I came to the conclusion, and we're going to talk about this during the voiceover, um, that sometimes it's not about finding the motivation, it's just sometimes you got to get things done. I'm doing something a little new. And we're gonna see how it goes, and I'm gonna explain it in today's video. But I'm resetting my house. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about uh, resetting the house, decluttering, probably not gonna have a lot of organization in today's video. I'm gonna talk about the next couple of videos, um, and I'm gonna talk about some of the new changes that I'm gonna be making when it comes to cleaning. And uh, 
I have a new approach on things. A new outlook on motivation and getting things done. And I'm gonna talk about it, so stick around. It's gonna be a good time, it should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Um, but today's video, we're resetting the house. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I know I'm starting this late. It's basically gonna be an after dark speed clean with me. Um, and basically I'm gonna get done what I can get done. I'm just not gonna stop until I go to bed. <laughs> I'm literally going to go. We're gonna get as much done as we possibly can from now until the time I go to bed. And uh, we'll see, we're gonna see. We'll see how much I get done. It should be, it should be interesting. All right, I have my coffee right here in front of me. I am ready to go. Grab your coffee, grab your pop, grab your water, grab your tea, grab whatever beverage you love the most, and let's get into it because it's gonna be a video. We are going to be doing a lot of stuff in today's video. This is a house reset. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, like I had stated earlier in today's video, coffee is my blood type. Uh, before I get into what I'm doing, I did want to mention that in today's video, we're going to be bouncing back and forth. Uh, I tried to keep this as organized as possible. So when I go back to footage, uh, that I had filmed earlier last week, I will post that up on the screen that we're going back. Uh, to earlier last week and then I'll pop on the screen when we're back to present date uh, because we are going to kind of go back and forth because there is some footage that I filmed last week that I want to show you in today's video. Uh, it's really basically two things. Me uh, packing up the fall decor and then uh, as well as decorating the fourth season for Christmas. So these were things that were filmed earlier last week. So we're going to bounce back and forth. But uh, for present date, uh, basically this video is me resetting the house and uh, getting as much done as I possibly can in a short period of time. This is an after dark clean with me with some light decluttering as well. Like for example, I am decluttering right here, this big turkey platter and this gravy boat, which is in the shape of a turkey. These are my mom's. She gave them to me a while back. I haven't used them in a very long time. I know they're special to her. So I'm going to give those back to her. Um, and then there was also some miscellaneous stuff down there, like uh, that, that big water bottle, plastic water jug. I don't know why that was in there. That was recycled. But um, I did want to get some of that stuff out of there and decluttered. But the kitchen is completed. Basically, I wanted to get the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, and the Four Seasons uh, completely cleaned and done because those were the worst areas out of the house. The bedrooms weren't too bad. I wasn't too concerned about the bedrooms. Wasn't too concerned about the bathrooms either. The small bathroom, which is connected to Ian and I's room was fine, but the main bathroom, I actually just got done cleaning and decorating for Christmas. I made a short out of that. I'll uh, link that in the description box below, but, um, I am going to go back in time here. Uh, in just a moment, uh, I had decorated the table here for Thanksgiving. I love doing tablescapes. Uh, you're going to see me do a tablescape for Christmas, which I'm super excited about. Uh, oh, so right here, this is footage from earlier last week. I had basically taken down all of the fall seasonal decor. I was putting it in this small tub, but this tub isn't big enough. I had to grab one of my empty Christmas tubs. So not too long ago, I deep cleaned, decluttered the basement and I didn't have enough tubs to store some of my sentimental memorabilia stuff that I still have to go through. I just wanted to find a place to store it. So I used some of my fall tubs. Uh, for my sentimental stuff, but that left me with no tubs for my fall decor. So, um, all I had left was this small tub. So I'm actually going to use this small tub for my Christmas decor because I have two other Christmas tubs. So there's just this one big tub that I'm using for my fall decor, but I did leave some of this stuff out, uh, to make my Thanksgiving tablescape. And I did a short on that as well. And, um, at this point in time, this was like a day or two before Thanksgiving, uh, all of the fall seasonal decor was packed away, except 
right here in the dining room, basically what was on that, the, this dining room table. So now going back to present date, which is right here, I'm removing the rest of the fall Thanksgiving decor. I'm packing the rest of that up. So there won't be any fall Thanksgiving decor out after today's video. So, cause I'm getting the house prepped and ready to decorate for Christmas. So I did want to get a head start on decorating for Christmas. So that's why I uh, decorate the four season in today's video for Christmas. I also do a really quick, fun, easy DIY. I may be switching some things out in the four season. I may be switching things out, um, adding things, doing more DIYs. We'll see. But in a little bit within the next video or two, I'm going to be decorating the rest of the house for Christmas. And when I do that, I'm going to be doing some Christmas DIYs. However, in today's video, um, I do switch up the dining room table. So like I had stated earlier last week, I decorated the four season for Christmas. And then in today's video, when we go back to present date, <laughs> I decided to change the table in the four season. And I think it turned out really cute, but, um, yeah, I just, I really needed to reset the house. I wanted to get these four areas. I really wanted to just focus on these four areas. I, I apologize if this is a little confusing me jumping back and forth. I hope that I organized it as, as I'm hoping I organized it well enough to where, um, it's not too confusing and all over the place. I, <laughs> I have a thing about jam packing as much as I possibly can into every single video <laughs> because there's so much that I want to do and share. So anyway, uh, the next thing that I wanted to get into is this new approach that I have on cleaning motivation, motivation. So I first want to explain some examples of how I lose the motivation, the lack of motivation. And sometimes it's because my house is so flipped upside down. It's such a disaster that I get overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. And that, you know, causes a lack of motivation or no motivation at all. Sometimes I'm actually very motivated. I've gotten a lot done. I've been working really hard. I've been cleaning. I'm in the mode. But then I get distracted. And then because I've gotten distracted, I don't I, I don't know where to pick back up again or I just altogether lose the motivation. And I think I found, oh, I don't know if I found a, a resolution to this, but we're gonna try something new. And I really hope that this works. And I'm gonna explain that in just a moment. We have quite a lot of stuff out. Everything like Christmas decor wise is in here and it's out. So what I'm going to do is group all of the things that I'm not ready to use. I don't know, probably I'll, I'll have to group it in a corner somewhere in the house, <laughs> but, um, yeah, all of the stuff that I, I'm not going to use, I'll just, I'll put somewhere else, but, um, we're going to decorate in here, but I also have to take I also have to take the rest of the little houses out. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I know for sure the houses like all I know for a fact all of those, and this is usually where I keep all of the Easter, Halloween, Christmas houses and towns and villages. I, I keep it in here because I don't want it under the crawl space because I don't want, I don't want it to get ruined. I feel like it's safer in here because this is all glass. So I keep it in here, but I would also like to find a different spot for it. So then what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to put away the boxes and I'm going to start uh, getting the windowsill over here. I'm going to, I'm going to decorate the windowsill first and I did clean in here already. So it really is ready to go. I just got to kind of pick it up a little bit. These 
these are all light bulbs or light bulbs. These are all uh, Christmas balls. <laughs> all of them. And they just fell everywhere. That's nice. That's nice. And then everything in here is Christmas ornaments for the tree. Now the the green tree the green Christmas tree, because I have a white Christmas tree and a green Christmas tree. Next year, I will be getting rid of the white Christmas tree. I want a, I want two green Christmas trees. I don't want any more white Christmas trees. Um, I like the more, like just me personally, I, I like the green trees. But um, I am gonna keep the, I'm trying to think. I'm probably going to because I think last year I put the family tree the green tree is the family tree and the family tree is my favorite tree because that's where we put all of the uh, ornaments that I got when I was a kid when Ian got when he was a kid or you know the kids got um, throughout their childhood that's the family tree it's my favorite tree it's super special um, and it goes on the green tree because the green tree is also bigger too. I think last year I put it in here. The year before I put the white tree in here. So I think this year I'm going to put the white tree in here and I'm going to put the green tree out in the living room. And then the white tree just gets the regular um, Christmas like balls. That's what, that's how I decorate that tree. So, okay. Okay, so... And then there's Christmas ornaments in there. I do not want this. This was my mom's and it's starting to go. Oh, is it even gonna play anymore? Yeah, it's done. I think it's done for. It spins. It's supposed to spin. This thing is like 15 years old. I, I, it lasted up until this year. And then this thing like spins. And then he puts his hat up and down and it sings Frosty the Snowman. It's super cute. My kids, especially my son, love this thing. Like he always played with this. This was his favorite uh, Christmas uh, piece of decor. I, I think it's done. <laughs> so we're probably gonna end up letting this go. I promise we're going to get back into discussing motivation, but I did wanna mention uh, that throughout today's video, there were quite a few items that I decluttered. I'm gonna show you everything that I decluttered towards the end of today's video. But as I was going through my fall Thanksgiving decor, my Christmas decor, I noticed that there were some things that I really don't like, but I'm keeping because I have sentimental attachment to it. Sentimental items are my hardest to let go of, but my style has changed as I've gotten older. And there's just some things that I really, I don't want, and I'm, I'm not keeping, I'm letting it go. I'm officially letting it go. <laughs> So all of this stuff in this box here, plus all of this stuff, which I'll show you here. This is all stuff that I already have that we're gonna use. This is all stuff that I already have that we're gonna use for DIYs <laughs> to make Christmas decor. This whole box is full, plum full of stuff that we're just gonna go nuts on. It's gonna be fun, like, it's gonna be fun. But this is for DIYs, so we're gonna put this out. And then all of this stuff here, so this is a bunch of, like, I have all different pine cones. Now, minus the, um, let me see here. Okay, so minus the big pine cones that are on the dining room table, 
Those were from Joann's. I got them this year. I got them on sale. I wanna say they were 40 or 50% off. I think it was like three some, maybe four bucks, something like that. Maybe seven. I don't know, I can't remember. But you got a big, like, bag full of these huge pine cones. I think there's like maybe eight, nine, I don't know. I'll link them in the description box below. But they, you got to choose, I think there's two cents. I'm pretty sure there was two different scents that you could choose from, but I I got the maple scented pine cones. And oh my gosh, like they still smell. Here, I'll grab this one. So like these big ones here that are on the dining room table, it still smells a little bit like maple. Like seriously, months and months later, they still have a maple scent. Awesome buy, highly recommend them. And when you open them, like when you first get um, them, it, it's a strong maple scent. <laughs> it's really good. But I love pine cones. The reason why I love pine cones so much is because I can use them from the beginning of fall all the way until after the new year. I use pine cones. Um, for my Christmas tablescape, I do this tablescape every year, but I try to do it a little bit different. It's basically free. <laughs> I'll show you what I do. I'm super excited to do it. I, it's my favorite tablescape out of the entire year. I love tablescapes. Um, but all of these little ones here, I picked. Like I, I picked out in nature um, and I have a ton of them, but I have like these cute little ones. Like I got little teeny tiny pine cones if it'll focus oh my gosh come on come on there we go so you got these like cute tiny little pine cones very very tiny and then there's these big monster pine cones I don't even know what these are called I don't know exactly what their exact name is but they're pine cones and then my favorite pine cones are these ones they're the same ones as like what I have on my table only smaller these are my favorite but I do have a bunch of them so that we're going to use in the DIYs as well coffee I swear I've been living off of coffee the last couple of weeks I cannot express enough how all over the place busy it has been the last couple of weeks I think I don't know if it's because of the age that I'm at uh maybe it's just I don't know I have no idea I I don't know but this it's just I feel like this season has been the busiest season ever. <laughs> oh, I've just been living off of coffee. Anyway, um, where was I going with this? Yes. Motivation back to motivation. So here's, here's my, uh, I don't want to say conclusion because I haven't started doing this yet, but I'm going to, I I'm, I'm going to start doing this and I'm going to give updates on this. I have to write that down because if I don't write things down, I forget. Seriously, if I don't write if I don't write it down, I won't, I won't remember. Um, give up dates on new motivation plan. So basically motivation is we're, we're crossing it out. It's not about motivation anymore. It's about determination. By the way, I'm not keeping those lights in that vase. I just wanted to give you an idea of what I am going to do. I'm going to get bright white lights and put it in that vase because I think that's cute. But I did move those lights into the vase in the entryway. Okay. And I'm going to be doing a couple of quick DIYs too. I'm just filling uh, some filler uh, Christmas uh, stems and uh ornaments into the lanterns to make them really Christmassy. But um I will be doing more to these lanterns in future videos. So I'm also going to take two empty vases and I'm going to hot glue some Christmas decor on it and fill it with pine cones. That's the next DIY that I'm going to do right here. Um 
So from here on out, I'm not going to wait for the motivation to come to me because that's what I've been doing a lot lately is I will, I will get distracted or I'll get overwhelmed. I'll lose the motivation. I'll have a lack of motivation. I know I've talked about this in previous videos. This has been happening to me a lot lately. I just don't have the motivation or lack thereof. And I, I wait around for the motivation to come back and that's not helping me accomplish my goals. So currently for well, recently for a while now, I feel like there's a lot of goals that I've put in place and I'm not meeting these goals and the time frame that I've set. And I, I notice that I reward myself for, for getting things done, for accomplishing, you know, certain goals or tasks that I've set out for, for each day. I, I'll reward myself with time on social media or a half hour to read my book or whatever the case may be. But when I don't accomplish my goals, I'm not disciplining myself, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And this is just me. I'm just speaking personally for me. This is something new that I'm trying. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work. I've never done this before. It may sound a little harsh, but I feel like if I don't try this, I feel like if I don't try this and it does work, then I'm missing out. Did that make sense? I feel like that didn't make sense. I need to try this. I need to take motivation out of the equation and replace motivation with determination, mostly determination, but I'm taking it a step further by saying, okay, not only am I going to be determined, but I'm also going to be disciplined. And because sometimes it's not about waiting for the motivation to come back. Sometimes it has nothing to do with motivation. It has everything to do with just getting it done. Determination, being disciplined. And it does sound harsh and I am being harsh, but there are very specific goals that I have set out for myself in a very specific time frame, And I, I so badly want to get this done. Like I have this sense of urgency right now, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to have a sense of urgency. It's put a fire under me <laughs> to get things done. And honestly, the sense of urgency has, has motivated me, but it's time for me to, you know, focus more on, uh, you know, it, when I don't accomplish, you know, let's say for example, I've set out three to four tasks important tasks for me to complete on a day. If I don't finish those tasks by the end of that day, then the following day, I don't get to, you know, read 30 minutes out of my book. I don't get to listen to my favorite podcast. I don't get to watch the show. It's about disciplining myself in order for me to accomplish my goals and to stay on task. And this is something new that I've never done before. So it's for me, for, for who knows how long, I don't know how well this is going to work. It's something new. It's something I'm trying out. It does sound a little harsh. I'll keep you updated, let you know if this new determination and discipline <laughs> that I've set out for myself, I'll let you know if it works, this may backfire. I don't know, but I feel like right now it's just waiting around for the motivation to come isn't isn't moving me forward. It's not helping me to accomplish my goals and get what I need to get done. Um, and it, sometimes it's just not about motivation. It's about determination. So I, I, we're going to see how it goes because I, I will sit there and wait for the motivation to, to pop up and it's wasting time for me. And that's not, I'm, I don't know if it's because of the age that I'm at. I don't know if it's because I don't know what it is, but I feel this sense of urgency and it's very much putting me into a very determined determination type of mode. Um, so whether the motivation is there or not, it's all about determination. Um, so I just wanted to say that cause I, I, we're going to see how it goes. I'm, I'm probably going to modify this. Like I just came up with this strategy. Um, there's probably things I'm going to have to modify when, you know, disciplining myself or setting out, you know, rewards. Um, it's just, this is new. So we'll see how it goes. Earlier in today's video, when I was cleaning the kitchen, I had held up a box of recipes 
these recipes Ian and I found, uh, they were actually in that cabinet above the microwave. And we've been looking for these for a while now. So when Ian's grandmother passed away um, about a year and a half, almost two years ago, she, uh, Ian went to help his uncle um, kind of clear out her home. And uh, there were some things that his uncle had, um, you know, at, well, he had asked if there was anything that Ian wanted. And there was only two things that Ian wanted. He wanted photos, which uh, that's how I am. I just, photos are photo albums, photos, are, those are like my number one things. I just want photos. I want memories. So he wanted um, some photos and his grandmother's recipes. That was it. And so that's what he took. He, he has um, a little box of photos and he had this uh, box of his grandmother's recipes. His grandmother was a phenomenal cook. She was a great, she was an amazing cook, amazing baker. Seriously, no joke. Some of the best foods I have ever ate in my life, especially like her baking, her banana bread, her pumpkin pie were two of my favorite things. Always wanted to know what was in these two recipes. Well, we found them. We found her box of recipes. So here's the question. Also, by the way, this is more items that we decluttered from today's video. Um, Zoe uh, picked up the toys in, in the Four Seasons. The toy, the Four Seasons is her, that that's the room she's designated for her toys. That's her playroom. So there were some toys um, in the Four season as well as some in her bedroom that um, she doesn't use, want, need, so that those two blue baskets, which we're also donating, um, were full of toys. So that's getting donated. And then this is all of the Thanksgiving, um, Christmas stuff that's getting donated. And then I found a bag of Halloween lights that I'm donating. So, um, yeah, all of this stuff is, uh, going. So, uh, that snowman sled thing my mom gave me that, I don't know if she wants back. I got to ask her if she wants that back, but she's very particular about some of the decor that she's passed down to me. A lot of my decor is from my mom and I still have this like fear of letting some of that stuff go. So I ask her if she wants it back, even though I know she has a lot of stuff. I don't know. I always debate on it. It's, it's complicated. Uh, but I do want to put a poll up for this recipes. So now that we found uh, Ian's grandmother's recipes, I was wondering if you would like me to make these recipes on the channel. Like, do you want me to make some shorts where I, I make these recipes? Do you want me to you know, do some cooking and, or I'm sorry, do you want me to do some cleaning, decluttering, organizing videos where I throw in some of these recipes? So we add in cooking into some of the videos. Let me know. Uh, I'll put a poll up. So be sure to check out the poll. I will put this poll up tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't really do a lot of cooking on my channel because I don't think I'm the greatest cook and I'm a horrible baker. But with these recipes, I could call it, I could call it, her name was Jerry. I was thinking of calling it Grandma G's recipes. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's catchy. I don't know. Something like that. They're not mine. They're hers. And I honestly don't know if they're original recipes or if these are recipes she found on boxes or I have no idea. All I know is they're Grandma G's recipes and they're amazing. And her banana bread I read the recipe for the banana bread. I've never, ever seen anyone make banana bread. Like, I've never heard of a recipe like this before. If you have, you'll have to let me know when I do that because that'll probably be the first thing I make. It's unbelievably good. So, anywho, let me know what you think of that. I think that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you so much. I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and we will talk to you on the next no. one. Bye everyone. No, 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 doing it. We're doing this. We're doing it. We're doing it. I don't want to do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I don't want to. But we're doing it. We're getting the job done.